Nutrition for Dogs at Doggy Cafe presents Tandy the Cattle Dog, Harley the Bull Mastiff, and his very sexy underwear, Lucy the Labrador, and her very sexy underwear. It's the start of the day at the doggy cafe. Tall wagging food to brighten your mood. It's another great day at the doggy. Hot, hot doggy. Doggy cafe. The doggy cafe. We've got a good reason to take our magnesium. Calms us down, it keeps us out of the pound. It's another great day at the doggy. The cool, calm doggy. Doggy cafe. The doggy cafe. The dog's bone and joint has fixed the sore point. The oil of the fish mm, makes us all lick the dish. It's another great day at the doggy. The pain-free doggy. Doggy cafe. The bone wagon doggy. The tail wagon doggy. Plate licking doggy. Bone crunching doggy. Flea jumping doggy. Lip strewing doggy. High class doggy. Doggy, doggy Cafe. Cafe! The Doggy Cafe. Good morning at the Doggy Cafe. My name's Dr. Sandra Cabot. This is my assistant, Alana, and she loves dogs. She's really lovely to my animals. And these are my dogs. And this is my butler, or butless, and. Chills. Yes. Her <laughs> name is Madeline. And she's excellent because she gets everything silver service for the dogs. So I hope you enjoy feeding your animals as much as we do. And um, we've got this little doggy cafe here and uh, the dogs love it. As you can see, this is Tandara and she's uh, an old dog. Tandara is 15 years old and she's a cattle dog. So she's good at rounding up the cattle. Now she has very bad arthritis, Tandara does. So what I'm feeding her today is very important for her health. She's having some salmon and tuna, and this has got the omega-3 in it for her arthritis, and also good for her eyes. Dogs need omega-3. Now I'm giving her some magnesium. This is ultra-potent magnesium. And this will help her because she has high blood pressure and she also has a heart murmur. And so magnesium is very good for the circulation and also, as we said in the song, calms us down, it keeps us out of the pound. So very important. And we also give her a bone and joint, Sandra Cabot's bone and joint capsules. Um, and this will give her the minerals for strong bones. And we also, interestingly, give her a drug, and this will help her arthritis as well. So she has 10 drops of that. That's an anti-inflammatory drug. And we also have to give her a blood pressure tablet. So you can see that old dogs, really, they're quite expensive to keep, but when they get old, you do need a lot more maintenance. It gets more expensive, but she's worth it. She's such a sweetie. There you are, darling. We'll put a drop of fish oil in Tandy's food. Extra fish oil. We've got Tandy's diuretic tablet because with blood pressure, she needs a diuretic. So it's half a tablet for Tandara. That's from the vet. She's got a lovely vet. So he's got her on the medications. Of course, you should never give your dogs anything without checking with um, your vet. But all these supplements are very good um, to help and old Lucy, dogs. Lucy, hello darling. Lucy would like some salmon too. She has a little bit of arthritis. But we'll start with a carrot. Now, a carrot a day keeps the doctor away. And Lucy loves carrots and they're very good for her because she has an eating disorder. She's a vacuum cleaner, isn't she, Elena? Yes. 
Yes. She loves her food. She has a great appetite. She would just eat anything in sight. Absolutely. So you better hang on to your ears there. Yeah. Because she does. She'll, she's just off the back of dinner. But you can give your dogs lots of carrots. Mm -hmm. It's good for their liver. Because remember, a dog can get a fatty liver. And me being the liver doctor, I know that's the worst thing to happen. So give your dogs plenty of vegetables, liver cleansing stuff. I actually did a year of veterinary science before I became a doctor. So there you go. I love animals. And Lucy's enjoying her carrot. Have a look at her. Yeah, very much so. See? Dogs really? love carrots. Now, now Harley's a bull mastiff. And, of course, bull mastiffs being huge, you have to give them big things. So you can't give him a little bone, he'll swallow it like a pill. So he's having a big brontosaurus bone. Get the big marrow bones. They've got the essential fatty acids, which the dogs need for their brain and for their eyesight. And it fills them up. Now, we're going to give Lucy some nice tuna. And we're going to give Lucy a bone and joint capsule too because she's got an arthritic shoulder. So we need to keep Lucy's shoulder under control. So we'll give her a bone and joint capsule. There we go, in the tuna. Oh, there you are, darling. You have your bone and joint. Nice natural lamb neck. Lamb is very, very healthy. So it's great to be with you here today at the Doggy Cafe. My name's Dr. Sandra Gabo. This is my butler, Madeline. Charles. And this is Elena, my assistant. And we all love dogs. And we hope you've enjoyed being with us. At the doggy, the red hot doggy, the hot diggity doggy, the hot class doggy, the doggy cafe, the doggy cafe. This is Harley, the bull mastiff, and he's very macho, so he's good to take walking uh, because you feel very safe when you've got Harley with you. And he's a slobber chops, as you can see. He gets very slobbery. So when he's going, Woo, you don't stand too close to him. And he's really enjoying his brontosaurus bone. Good boy. That's good. You're a cutie, Harley. Everybody likes Harley. 